Thank you very much. Uh, I should add, like ro most politicians, Richard is given to a little bit of exaggeration. So <laughs> while there is a kernel of truth in most of what he says, uh, just take it with a little bit of a grain of salt. We always have a tendency to embellish. But I, I thought for a minute I would take the time to really reflect upon the 60 years of Ross Simons, both for what it is and really as a model, a symbol of what is possible in the United States, uh, particularly true given the backdrop of what's happening in the world today. Uh, my grandparents to escape oppression came to the United States, were very poor, but valued education and, and made sure that their children got educated. My father got accepted to Tufts College from a very poor family, but couldn't go because he couldn't afford to. So he worked during the day for a jewelry store and got a law degree at night. It was during the Depression. The law degree didn't do him any good because no one wanted attorneys. He couldn't make a living. So he became a jeweler, went to work for a jewelry store, and eventually relocated uh, from New Bedford to Providence. Teamed up with a Mr. Simons, hence the name of our Simons. Uh, Mr. Simons' greatest attribute was having a father who could bankroll the nascent company. And so they formed a partnership, and the vision was the vision that we have today, to offer customers good product with good pricing and good service, just as we do today. And I was always interested in the business at age nine. You, you can't imagine that it, this could be done today. From our store on the eighth floor of an office building in downtown Providence, I would run repairs through the downtown streets two blocks away to a shop that did ring sizing or pearl stringing. I would walk through department stores, walk on streets. Imagine it's a different world, but I did it. Uh, my brother was also very active in the business. He joined the business full-time in the late 60s, and as Richard said, I briefly flirted with a law career and joined the business in, the, in, in 1974 with the goal to grow the business, to offer what we gave to our Rhode Island customers with a population of a million, same population today, um, and expand our horizons. And we were able to do it with a vision, but mostly we were able to do it with a dedicated, hard-working, committed, loyal group of employees as you embody here today. And that perhaps is the greatest attribute of our great state of Rhode Island, uh, that we have a stable, intelligent, educated, and committed workforce that is not always available in other states. That is such a great attribute, and I hope that we can take that attribute, that fundamental strength, along with the natural beauty and the great way of living that we have here and restore our city and our state to higher levels of glory than we have ever known. It will take a lot of work, but just as we in Ross Simons have reinvented ourselves, our business today is very different from what it was 50 years ago, 30 years ago, 20 years ago, even 5 and 10 years ago. We have succeeded and thrived and in some economic downturns survived because of our willingness and ability to recognize the necessity to change. You all have made that possible by your willingness to change along with us and help move us along. And I would hope that our example would be a great inspiration and metaphor for our city and state. If we can do it, Let's work together to assist our city and state in accomplishing the changes we need so that we can restore our environment, our beloved city and state, to former glory. It's doable, and with our help, I believe we all can do it. I, I got a little carried away, but you know, when you look at this day, this beautiful environment, the quality of life we have, one can't help but fall in love with Rhode Island, and that's why our headquarters will never leave as long as I have anything to say about it. The, the assets here are just too powerful. The challenges are great as well, but working together we can overcome the challenges and benefit from the, the assets that we have. So I thank you for all being part of our journey. 
There's a lot left to go in the journey. We have some exciting plans for our company in the next year or two. Uh, as they unfold, you will be able to help shape them and participate in them. And hopefully, as we progress, so we will follow the progression of our city and state, and, and a rising boat will lift all tides. Thank you very much. I probably should have said a rising tide will lift all boats, but you got the, you got the picture. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you, Governor. Thank you, Richard. Thank you,